So this is ground beef, tons of onions, tons of garlic, and of course Italian tomatoes. The aroma of this is just absolutely savory and fantastic. So noodles cooking as well, but what's in here? Tons of garlic, tons of onions, basil, fresh basil, which is so aromatic. This is what I'm looking forward to for our dinner. tomatoes as a topper oh my god that's like a super boost of flavor tons of flavor packed right there that's a mommy in the house all right so noodles cooked bolognese cooked didam's bolognese is cooked look at that ragu it's absolutely gorgeous. Then we got wheat noodles as well. Oh, Alexander really loves Bolognese. He's trying Papa Odidam. How is it, Alexandra? It's good. It's yummy, right? Yeah, it tastes like sauce. How do you like it? Thank you can be honest, Mila. Alexandra. Mila. How is it? Tell the truth. How do you like it? I think there's vegetables there. Is there? This one basil leaf adds extra flavor. But how do you like the beef and the noodles? Is it yummy? Yes. Selfie. Then, how do you like it? I've actually never tried Didam Bolognese yet. What? And add some little bit of a olive oil. There we go. Just a little top. We had some parmesan earlier, but this looks gorgeous. We saw the take on that earlier. I already had a bite, so I already know how good it is. Noodles cook perfectly, al dente. This would be any kid's fantasy. You know, as a kid, all children love their meat pasta. But this one, Didam, I wish I was born again as your child so I can eat this always. That's how good it is. Just absolutely delicious. The fresh basil on top, and the basil that was even chopped to add into it while it was still stewing. The proper oh. timing. It's all about timing. Yeah. yeah, you know all about that. So, this pasta is dedicated to Didam, and we're just super enjoying it. Everybody, what do here. you think? How about in English or Filipino language? In English, it's for very, very difficult for me. I know, it's very good. It's in English. And I'm Francais. In Francais, it's very good. It's the Parmesan du vrai. It's the vrai bœuf. It's the vrai spaghetti. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. With pleasure. And what about you, Alexandra? What about you, Ethan? How did you like pasta? <laughs> Alexandra, how did you like pasta? Wait, close. Okay. And then? 
They're speechless. Yeah. Let's uh, put it like that. <laughs> How was it that you Which one do you like best? No, no, no. No. You have difficulty to answer? Yeah, difficulty. <laughs> Because you're so amazed. I don't remember. It tastes nice. Mommy. Mommy. Okay. Mommy. And how are you? How do you feel? Is it satisfying your expectation of the pasta? It is. Mommy. Mommy. Um, Mommy. Would have been Mommy. a little bit more olive oil Mommy. that I'll add it to it. Come on, sit down. It's okay. And. Uh, but I'm very happy that everyone likes it. So that is satisfying. Yes. Yes. And while everybody's sitting, it's already game over. Wow. No. I need to get another serving. Pasta. This is absolutely delicious. Yes. Super. Didram, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's say thank you. Thank you, Dina. Thank you. Alexandra. Everyone. Bye. No, Alexandra, thank Bye. you. Bye. Guys, I'm on round two. This is just super delicious and I'm um, super enjoying. So that's why it's round two time. I don't know if there's going to be any left for Didam's husband. It's that good. Australian beef. Fresh basil. You don't even need a pressure cooker for this. Absolutely gorgeous, delicious, fantastic. And that's what I'm enjoying right now. Cheers, guys. Okay, up next we have a drink from Romania. This is called Vlad Dracula's drink and that's the brand. No, it's not Dracula's drink. Yeah, it's not Dracula brand. Yeah. Am I right then? Right on. So very interesting bottle. It looks ancient. Can you put what is the password? I don't know. You have to choose the password. This looks like a special no, potion. I choose the password. She has to choose the password. I have a little bit. I'm going to split this with Oksana because this might be way too dangerous. Okay, Dan. What's the history of this drink? Well, the history is that Vlad Tsepesh was drinking this while impaling, impaling? Impaling. impaling the people of Transylvania. Okay. And then drinking the blood, and this was to go in between to, you know, change a bit of the taste of the blood. So yeah, it sounds a bit. Uh, it sounds a bit uh, horrible because it's supposed to be so gruesome. I hope it tastes better than it sounds. Okay, you first. Smooth. 60% smooth. 60% alcohol, very smooth. Yeah. Oh, there Woo! <laughs> what can you say, babe? Yeah, I'm enjoying this because it's like tastes like the awesome vodka from Belarus. Maybe more aromatic little bit. And not that you but it's really tasty. So it's okay?
Good morning, everybody. It's a gloomy day, so we're gonna check out Aquaria, which is the oceanarium here in Kuala Lumpur. We just arrived at Aquaria. This is very close to the KLCC.